People are talking about yesterday's stunning events in person and online, with some comparing Black Lives Matter protests to what happened at the U.S. Capitol. Experts are also questioning police response, saying yesterday showed a clear double standard. News 8's Teresa Sardino spoke to a local activist about the events that unfolded. I spoke with Tasha Williamson, a social justice activist from home while she's recovering from COVID. She says Wednesday's event was out of control and disturbing. The reality that there are two Americas and the world got to see that. Tasha Williamson, social justice activist, Black Lives Matter member who ran for San Diego mayor, speaks out about the violent events at the nation's capital Wednesday. Many capturing it from their phones. Again. Williamson comparing security during the Black Lives Matter protests at the nation's capital in 2020. Blocks in the city on lockdown due to protesters. The way in which we were treated was very different in the way in which we saw white Americans treated yesterday. Wednesday, armed protesters, Trump supporters storming the Capitol, even to the extent of lawmakers in lockdown and a life lost. We saw striking officers injuring officers. His supporters, we saw damaging his supporters who he encouraged. There are so many questions regarding security. Protests had been expected for days, but police appeared unprepared for an actual insurrection and not even prepared to keep all the doors locked. The conversation on NPR Thursday morning. How demonstrators managed to force their way inside the Capitol. They were able to get into that Capitol building because the police not just were overrun, but because of so many situations that they know what to do because they did it when there were marches for Black Lives Matters.